Good evening and welcome to the State Road A1A Safety Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Sam Jumber and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to present the proposed pedestrian improvements on State Road A1A and receive your input. We want to hear from you and there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-632-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-632-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located on State Road A1A from Hidden Cove Drive to Sea Dunes Drive in Brevard County, just south of Melbourne Beach. The improvements in this project are the result of an FDOT safety study along the corridor. The study analyzed pedestrian volumes and crash data and recommended two pedestrian crosswalks as well as new sidewalk to fill in a gap on State Road A1A. The first pedestrian crosswalk will be built just south of Oceanway Drive for the South Shores community. The second pedestrian crosswalk will be added at Solway Drive for the Indian Landing community. The crosswalks will include pedestrian signals called pedestrian hybrid beacons or PHBs. PHBs are mounted on a mast arm over a crosswalk. When the pedestrian walks up to the crosswalk, they push the button. The pedestrian then stops and waits for the walk signal. The pedestrian then walks across the crosswalk while watching for cars. There will be a flashing timer that lets the pedestrian know how long they have to cross. For drivers approaching a PHB, the PHB is dark when no one is crossing. When a pedestrian pushes the button to cross, 
The PHB flashes yellow and then turns solid yellow to alert drivers a pedestrian wishes to cross the street. The signal will then turn red indicating to motorists to stop. After providing time to allow pedestrians to cross, the red lights will flash indicating motorists may proceed if the crosswalk is clear. This project also plans to add a sidewalk on the southbound side of State Road A1A to create connectivity with the sidewalk at Hidden Cove Drive and Kasiki Trail. Other improvements include lighting enhancements. This project proposes wildlife sensitive lighting for the sea turtles. The project is currently in design and is anticipated to be complete in late 2025 at an estimated cost of $615,000. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2026 at an estimated cost of $643,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Monday, May 13th, 11 days after the public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-632-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Samuel Jumber directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-A-M-U-E-L dot J-U-M-B-E-R at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Jumber at 386-943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450-632-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending the public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 13, 2024. Have a good evening.